YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This is your boy, the Nick of all trades, coming at you from Prairie Town, Texas. Wherever the heck that is. Um, <laughs> this little video is just gonna be kind of quick, I guess, but um, it's just about uh, pre-tripping your plans on, you know, getting to where you need to get to, basically. Um, I thought I'd pre-trip my plans and stuff, okay? This is my first day back driving. Um, I've been down a week. My truck was getting repaired or whatnot. It had a couple of issues. Um, they got repaired or whatnot. So, I'm back at it. But basically, my uh, it was a D-rate thing coming on and an engine light coming on. And it felt like somebody sabotaged my truck, but that's a whole nother story. Anyways, I'm out here in Prairie Town, Texas. I guess that's like the tip of the top going into Arizona, not Arizona um, excuse me, but um, Oklahoma slash Kansas. Or whatnot um and um basically i felt like i was in the twilight zone <laughs> um it's i'm not gonna say it sucks but i just wish i would have really looked at my map and really um planned it out because um i came out of dallas earlier and i was wanting to go down i-35 you know just would have made it easier and more accessible to gas stations or truck stops excuse me or whatnot so i am at the let me turn it around probably can't see it because it's too far but it's called the two it totem never even heard of that gas station or whatnot you know the, the people in there are pretty nice and whatnot um this really taught me a lesson. Like, don't get me wrong, I like taking back roads and stuff like that, but I wasn't ready for this. Um, I thought I would have been in Oklahoma like hours ago or whatnot. Uh, I left Amazon earlier around three o'clock today. It's 9.30 and I'm just about to make it out of Texas, they say. They say I'm at the tip of Texas or whatnot. So I'm riding down, um, I guess I want to say State Road or State Highway 83 going north. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with that, you know, that's where I'm at basically. Um, it's been a hell of a day. I still got three more hours to ride. So around 12 o'clock or whatnot, I'll be laying it down. But, you know, for my rookies or whatnot, when they say pre-plan, pre-plan, you know. Make sure you going, you know the route you're gonna take and you know what's you know gonna be in that route or whatnot. Cause I've been going through a lot of towns, like, and I'm just like, man, where's the gas station? Where's the gas station? It's not like I'm out of gas. I'm still over half a tank. But since I am just going down all back roads, all the way to South Dakota, Blackhawk, South Dakota at that, I wanna make sure that I'm filled up at almost all times. I don't need no problems out here or whatnot. So, that's really it, YouTube. Rookies, pre-plan your trip. Make sure wherever you're going, you know, it's, it's a safe route for you and it's something that you feel comfortable with. Like, I'm not nervous or anything, don't get it wrong, but it's just like, I was expecting to see a freeway. So the only freeway I did see was I-40. And that was like in McLean, Texas. So I was like, dang, I can't really take I-40 because it's gonna take me back out the way. So I have to stay committed to this run real quick. So I only have like 650 miles to go. So hopefully I can pull up in South Dakota tomorrow sometime and get my load dropped off, hopefully that night or the next morning. But this has been one heck of a lesson for me, you know. Um, if y'all 
out here in YouTube world know any um, good spots to eat going past Prairie Town, um, Texas, going towards Black Hawk, South Dakota, or whatnot, please let me know. I will be looking at the video or whatnot. So that's all I got to say, man. Um, this is my first time back in about a week because, like I said, I've been down. My rate button or gauge was on or whatnot. Ever since I was in Florida, I had to make it back to Texas. My windshield wiper went out on me in Louisiana, and it was raining. That was crazy. I had, I still drove though, um, and the check engine light just kept going on and off. So they had to, I guess, give me another engine harness or whatever that means or whatnot. So pretty hefty bill, but we got it taken care of, and I'm back on the road again. So y'all, how let your boy, man? This is your Nick of all trades out here in the country. I'm about to here. Peace.